Today we're testing the battery life and charging performance of the new 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. Apple's claim of 20 hours battery life is only for one type of setting. But as you know, battery life really varies from how you use your device. Like not everyone watches Apple TV all day without stop at 50% screen brightness. So the last few weeks I've been putting together a more natural battery test that's true to life compared to your regular battery drain tests. To show you a different angle, we're going through what each day of battery was like in different levels of use. From days where I do common everyday tasks to high demand days where I'm multitasking while on Final Cut. Timestamps in the description. My goal here is to help you get a better picture of how it'll actually be like in hopes that you relate to at least one of these scenarios, if not bits from each of them. Feel free to comment your experience with the battery and charging. Give this a like if it helps and subscribe for more. I call these first tests day zero because these two were my initial tests I did during my unboxing video, where I concluded 10 hours of battery life, setting up the computer, updating software, and downloading apps and extensions while doing tasks online and transferring data, and so on. My initial video editing test was good with battery, but later tests ended up even better. I'm assuming because the computer is still setting itself up that first day. More Final Cut Pro tests later in the video. Day one tested video streaming, watching videos throughout the day. All right, day one we're at 100% and it's 1017 AM. I'll be playing my YouTube video all day at 90% and let's see what happens. All right, so I'll be putting it at about 90%, volume at 50%. Now, 11.45 a.m. and we are at 92%. It's 1.32 p.m. and now at 82%. It is now 3.14 p.m. and we are at 71%. All right, it's been more than six hours and it's now at 61%. It took eight hours to get to 49%. It's now 8.12 p.m. and we're at 34%, so that's almost 10 hours so far. 11.11 p.m., make a wish, and we are at 13% battery. It's 12.16 and I'm at 6%, so I'm definitely going to conclude it's 12.21 a.m. I uh, gotta get ready for bed. If you were to hit to zero at this rate, it would be like 1.30 a.m. Educated guess. This is going to at 15 hours battery life. Since we don't always leave the computer on binge watching all day, day two was more about lighter intermittent use. With 90% screen brightness, I did common everyday tasks like note taking, web browsing in Safari, downloading, made new calendar appointments, set up mail, transferred files between external drives, and played with settings. Also left notes in the background as I referred back to it, logging everything I do. I put the computer to sleep about six times throughout the day. We should be starting with 100%. I'm gonna start the timer, see how long it boots up today. Hey. All right, we are at 8.21 a.m. It is now 12.54 p.m. and we are at 92%. Before waking this up five, it was asleep for a couple of hours. I'm at 71% battery. So let's see how long it will take. Maybe it'll go until tomorrow. 7.58 PM, it's now at 64% battery. 11.08 and we're at 62% battery. All right, it's now 12.36 AM and we're at 56% done for the day, but I'm not charging it. So we see how long it lasts. So that's almost 16 hours of intermittent use with more than half the battery to spare. Transitioning to day three, I made sure the computer was asleep and not shut down overnight. That way we could test the processor's efficiency with the battery while it's asleep in conjunction with the software. Like, should we be worried about losing battery overnight? When I opened it at 7.51 AM, all it took while asleep for seven hours was 1% less battery at 55%. Keep in mind, I kept notes app open. I know it's new, but it's still impressive. So then I decided to see how long it would last sleeping all day and not shut down. By the end of the day at 10 p.m., I was at 53%. That means it only went down 2% all day. Day four, I let this computer go for another day of common tasks. I did keep it sleeping to see how long it would push for another day. 
starting at 50%. My use for that day includes mainly on Safari and some YouTube notes, plus a few minutes of other native apps like FaceTime, Messages, and Calendar. From 50% at 1 p.m., it went to 24% by 8.50 p.m. and ended up with 22% battery by 12.30 a.m. So light use off and on in an 11 hour day only took 28% battery. This means it could potentially last almost three days with simple everyday use. Day five tested heavy online multitasking. After testing the Mac mini for a few days for one of my last videos, I switched back to this MacBook Pro somehow starting at 2.30 p.m. with 60%. Let's see if it survived that day in that scenario. While researching SSDs, shop sales, Wi-Fi routers, and home improvement, caught myself with 10 Safari tabs open while multitasking with Notes app. By the way, RAM only had light memory pressure. I put the computer to sleep for an hour. By 8.55, I was at 42%. 13 Safari tabs open. By 9.54 p.m., I was at 38%. Then by 10.46, I was at 29%. That concluded my day at 31% battery use in more than 8 hours. You can think of that as one full-time shift at work with an hour break. I could also see this similar to a college student's day with web use and note-taking. Day 6, I wanted to test charging speed while it's sleeping. So first we had to drain the battery. Started 3pm at around 19% and drained to 4% in less than 3 hours. Did this by playing three YouTube videos at once, leaving notes, messenger, and 10 tabs of Safari in the background. Let's see what how the RAM's doing using a couple gigabytes of swap. 12 minutes later, we reached 3% where it was time to start charging. 31 minutes of charging brought me to 39%. An hour and seven minutes brought me to 70%. More than two hours at 96% was when the charge actually started slowing until we reached 100% by 1230. So this test shows it takes two and a half hours to charge on standby. 100%. By the end of day seven, I wanted to test the charging speed again, this time while the screen was on. To drain the battery again, I did more light tasks with a little more demand and performance. A little bit of video editing, move files around from different external drives, a lot of notes while keeping Final Cut in the background for reference, more web browsing, and a news update on YouTube. All this starting at 100% at 1.57 p.m., put MacBook Pro to sleep three times for breaks, and ended the day with 7% by 10.23 p.m. The screen brightness is around 60%. All right, so to give you a good impression of charging while the computer's on, I plugged it in at 10.24 p.m. It's now 10.41 it went from 7% to 28%. So more than 20% in about 23 minutes. So you see here it's 12.17 a.m. and we are at 96%. So it looks like it would take about two hours in general to charge this battery. Day eight, I was ready to edit all day. I started the day at 11.40. After checking mail and fill some online forms, I started a video project with Final Cut Pro at noon. A simple project with minimal effects. In between editing, of course, I had to put it to sleep. Those working from home could relate to my breaks, like laundry, going out for a run, and of course you gotta eat. I usually never go below 5%, but just like real life, sometimes you forget to charge. So the battery died at 9.35 p.m. Don't worry, I didn't lose any work thanks to autosave. This test shows we got 10 hours of battery time. Never heard the fan once throughout all of these tests. In conclusion, this is the best battery I've ever had in a laptop. I've been working with MacBook Pro since 2008 and battery life has never improved this noticeably. You will now be able to comfortably take this through a whole shift of work, enjoy videos or even get work done while traveling. Apple has definitely set a new bar with M1. If this is the beginning, it's exciting to think of what's next with Apple building new hardware around it. I hope this helped. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more. This video took a lot of time, so all your support is highly appreciated. Feel free to share your battery experience in the comments below. Amazon links for this product is also available in the description. Thanks for watching.